Hampton Roads, Virginia, December 16th, 1981. The State Attorney General's Office documents evidence of pervasive odometer tampering in the sale of used cars. In the largest settlement of its kind, 65 defrauded buyers received cash refunds totaling $97,500. The unsung hero in the case? The Virginia Department of Information Technology, the state's largest computer facility. Law enforcement officials were able to track the histories of hundreds of suspect vehicles by electronically scanning Division of Motor Vehicle records held in our central computer files here in Richmond. At first glance, the Department of Information Technology looks like room after room of lifeless hardware. But that's just a small part of the picture, painted by 68 Virginia agencies, whose daily needs for information create a continually changing story of a state on the move. In all, we handle over 600 million requests for information each year. And just like in the odometer tampering case, behind every one of those requests, there's a story. There are stories of life and death and those that are larger than life. There are fish stories and short stories. To accommodate the increased workload demand from all branches of state government, the State Department of Computer Services built a new facility combining four separate computer facilities under one roof in downtown Richmond. On September 1st, 1984, the Departments of Computer Services and Management Analysis and Systems Development were merged to form the Department of Information Technology. The Department of Telecommunications joined the organization on January 1st, 1985 to bring the entire Department of Information Technology together. The new computer facility is the state's largest and has an annual computer tape output of over 190 million feet storing data from enough computer cards to reach the moon 79 times. And every one of those cards touches the life of a Virginia citizen, for better or for worse, in seriousness or in jest. As the demands for information services increase, so do the advantages of operating a centralized computer facility. We are already saving Virginia taxpayers $1.7 million a year. Total savings over the life of the facility will be approximately $34 million compared to the cost of operating the previous four facilities. In addition, since 1980, the department has accommodated a 100% increase in customer workload without increasing the size of its staff or the cost of the services delivered. To accomplish all of this, it takes state-of-the-art in-data processing equipment from companies like IBM, Sperry, Memorex, Amdahl, Storage Technology, DataSwitch, and Amperif. It also requires a highly skilled professional staff, engineers, programmers, operators, systems analysts, software specialists, telecommunications specialists, and environmental support personnel. 24 hours a day, 365 days a year, the Department of Information Technology is touching the lives of Virginians. So the next time you take a drink, or take a trip, or take a class, or take a dip, think of us. We are bringing technology together in Virginia.